Software Introductions. Click the new patient icon to create a new patient file and enter the corresponding information for the patient. Click the new case button and select the patient to enter to the next menu. You can also create a new patient here. After creating the case, Users can choose the scanning method. The software provides three scanning methods, restoration, orthodontics, and implant. The scanning process of restoration and orthodontics is same as upper jaw, lower jaw, and occlusion. But restoration has higher accuracy in analyzing the data of a single tooth. Orthodontics has higher accuracy in the data on the dental arch. The scanning process of implant is upper jaw, lower jaw, occlusion, Without scan body, with scan body, and finally select whether to scan the occlusion again according to the situation. It is recommended that the users select the scanning methods according to their actual needs. Users can select two positions and fill in all the tooth information according to the patient's situation. Click scan to enter the scanning interface. Here the patient name and the method of current scan. Here the scanning process. Clicking the exclamation point will display the hardware information of the scanner. The right side is functional area. The scanner icon shows the current scanner status. If an exclamation mark shows up, it means that the software does not detach the scanner. Please check whether the scanner is connected properly. This area shows the current imaging acquisition number and the scanning time. In the scanning area, the yellow-green color indicates the distance is appropriate. This area shows the real imaging captured in patient's mouth by intraoral scanner. The missing scan areas are shown in the selected color. If any of those areas are relevant for the giving work or scanning protocol required by your lab, they should be scanned again. Select the cut function on the right toolbar. You can select unwanted areas to cut. If the scan result is not good, you can click the delete button to delete the data and scan again. Click the true color button. Users can choose true color or non true color display. Colors can be selected in the setting interface according to the user's favorite. Zoom feed button can make the scanned 3D model return to the middle of the screen. HD camera. Users need to open the scanner. Click space or capture to take photos. Photos will be saved in the patient file. Click Result Preview to select a single tooth for preview.
After scanning the upper and lower jaw, scan the occlusion. First, let the patient open their mouth. Place the scanning tape on the patient's buccal side. Let the patients close their mouths and click the button on the scanner to activate the scanning function. and click refund check after the scan is completed. On the occlusion interface, click occlusion distance to show the distance between occlusions. Users can also adjust the distance scale on the left to see distance smaller than the chosen threshold. Use control key and left click for occlusion value on a specific point. Click Occlusion Adjustment. Users can mark patient occlusion point of the teeth with the occlusion paper before scanning, and add occlusion point manually under this function after the marking, so that the occlusion can be adjusted more finely. Click the Automatic Occlusion Adjustment button. The occlusion distance will automatically increase by 0.02 cm each time. In the restoration scan method, select the dental jaw to be restored after data is refund checked. Click the undercut button, select the direction in which doctor wants to put the crown, and click the button. The red part is the depressed area in this direction to judge the effect of these prepared teeth. After the refund check is completed, Click Exit and save the data. Click the case button to open the previous case, and click Open File to open the case folder. The HD photos were also saved in the folder. Click the export button. Users can choose to export to ExoCAD or RunES file. Note that if users need to export to ExoCAD, please must select the tooth number to be restored when creating a new case. Click the share button. The software will automatically generate a QR code and download link for the case. You can send the QR code or the link to the lab to download the file.